A former Plateau Central Senator and Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Ibrahim Nasiru Mantu, who died in the early hours of Tuesday, August 17, 2021, has been laid to rest in Abuja. He was 74 years old. Late Mantu died in the early hours of Tuesday, August 17, at a private hospital in Abuja after nine days of sickness and isolation. In 2001, he was elected Deputy Senate President under the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, a position he held till 2001. 2007. Mantu, who hails from Gindiri District in Mangu, local government area of Plateau State, worked in various establishments before joining politics. Meanwhile, President Mohamed Buhari has condoned with the family of the deceased, saying he joins Plateau State government and indigenous in mourning the person of the renowned politician. According to a statement by special advisor to the president on media and publicity, President Buhari commiserated with leaders and members of the National Assembly, friends and political associates of the former Deputy Senate President who dedicated most of his life to the service of his people. The president prayed for the repose of the soul of the departed, believing his legacy of reconciliation and promotion of peaceful coexistence will always be remembered, especially in bringing more harmony in his state and the country at large. Simon Ekba, the Finland-based member of the indigenous people of Biafra, has said that Mazi Namde Kano will henceforth lead the group from detention. According to him, Namde Kano directed that he would henceforth lead the group's Monday broadcast from the Department of State Services detention. Ekba added that Namde Kano had asked him to broadcast the topics he decided every Monday on Radio Biafra. He also reiterated that Kano would continually steer the ship of the Biafra struggle from the detention of the DSS. Recall that IPOP, through its spokesperson, Ima Powerful, had banned Ekba from broadcasting following his alleged neglect of laid-down rules and regulations of the station. However, Kano Finnish Nigerian disciple said the pro Biafra group leader had reordained him. Eba said this on his Twitter page on Tuesday morning. He tweeted, Mazi Namdi Kano from DSS detention has directed that henceforth my Monday's live broadcast topic will be coming directly from him. I am Simon Eba, Mazi Namdi Kano's disciple on Biafra restoration. He will continue to lead this struggle from DSS as a rock detention from prison, Eba tweeted.